Hello everybody, my name is Kian, and I would just like to take a quick video to showcase my current uh, solar panel rig that I have set up in my house. It is by no means a uh, off-grid or independent grid setup. It is more of just a system where I can charge all of my rechargeable devices so as to not get them on the power bill, I guess. So... I guess let's start off, no, let's start off with the inverter. So, I got this Everstart 500 watt power inverter that features two 120 volt uh, AC outlets, as well as two uh, USB-A ports. So you can potentially charge a maximum of four devices. And um, that's just all dependent on how much output wattage you got. So like if you got, for low watt um, de requiring devices, then you can put all four in. If not, then 500 watts is the max, and uh, the the power the power inverter will just shut off automatically um, before you can, even if you try to get over that. So I got this thing at Walmart for like about like forty dollars Canadian, I think thirty dollars Canadian. I still don't know if I'm gonna keep it because I still have the receipt. I'll, if I find a better one, I'll return it. But yeah. So here is also it has a fan built in. Um, at some point in this video, I'll put like a, actually, yeah, right now I'll put a little, uh, 10 second clip of this thing in, uh, like while it's actually working and like, yeah, that's the button to turn it on actually. And it turns green, but you'll see that in a sec. All right. So next we have the actual 12 volt battery and this, I also got at Walmart. It's the same brand ever start. And it's a, uh, it's like intended for lawn and garden use. So it was cheaper than a car battery, which is what I was looking for. I didn't want like uh, like a $200 battery or whatever. So yeah, uh, here are the stats if you guys like. It has 300, it's 370 cold crank amps. Uh, sorry, 300 cold, cold crank amps and 370 uh, cranking amps at zero degrees centigrade. And um, it's a pretty good battery. I've probably been able to get 10 charges to five to 10 charges, I haven't really counted exactly, but five to 10 charges per uh, cycle slash use. And I, the reason I'm kind of uncertain on that value is because I've kind of just been charging it constantly. So I haven't had like a full drain cycle. So uh, moving on, we have the Coleman charge controller. So I got the Coleman, I'll just say this right now, I got the Coleman solar panel and it came with the charge controller in the box. Actually, we had this for a very long time, but it was just sitting around in the garage. And I finally decided to use it because we went up camping. But now I'm just going to have it as my setup, uh, like a, le a legit setup, or I hope it's like going to be a semi-permanent setup. So let's get straight to it. So 7 amp solar charge controller. I don't really know what these numbers mean, to be honest, but actually I kind of do. 14.2 volts uh, cutoff, so that means it'll stop charging the battery at 14.2 volts. And then it cut in is 13 volts. If somebody knows what that means, please tell me because I'm assuming that means when it starts charging, but does that mean that when it, the battery is below 13 volts, it won't charge? I don't think so because this, this battery has been below 13 volts and it's charged. But yeah, if anybody knows what that means, please let me know in the comments. Okay, now it comes with three LEDs. One is one LED is to show charging. The other one is to show low voltage when the, like if the, solar panel is in the shade or whatever. And then the green one is charged when the charge controller thinks that it has sufficiently charged the um, battery. And it also comes with three little mounting points where you can screw it to a wall. And that's if you obviously wanted to make this like a permanent setup or whatever. So yeah, it's a pretty good setup. I think this uh, whole thing was like $100 Canadian around there. Um, like these days, it's probably pretty expensive because it's only 40 watts but back then it was pretty good. Okay, uh, one thing I would like to say that I don't really like about this charge controller is the fact that when the two mounting points are not connected, it still so shows that it is charging. So I'll show you quickly. So I'll take off, take them off. Actually, I only need to take, take one to end the circuit. And it's still showing me charging. And that's just the DC uh, current slash electricity that's coming from the solar panel and it's just, Still charging that light. I guess they just didn't make like a cutoff to say that only show the yellow charging light if 
it is actually charging a battery. So that's kind of disappointing. Um, like at the beginning, it wasn't actually charging properly. And um, it said charging, so I thought nothing was wrong, but it actually was. So that was kind of annoying that I wasted like all this time trying to charge it up. Um, and then it wasn't even charging. So, all right, now we got the actual solar panel. So like I said, it's a 40 watt um, max, yeah, maximum output up to 40 watts. So let me get like a nice close up here for you guys. So maximum power up to 40 watts in uh, direct sunlight, I guess. Um, it's Coleman panel, pretty basic. If you guys wanna look at other stats, it's uh, pretty cool actually. I'll uh, get this down for you guys. Let me first um, pull up the curtains. First I'll show you how I have it rigged up here. So it's just in the front window. Um, I don't, this gets probably like five hours to six hours of sunlight a day. It's not optimal, but it's probably the best setup I can get because none of my windows are really getting full day sun exposure, but it's, this is the best I can get. So let's take it down so we can actually have a look at the panel. Oh, would well, you look at that though, guys, the charge controller actually shut off, which is good. I like that. I, I don't know if that was happening before, but yeah, I just noticed that. Let me get the st stand down, which I'll show you guys in a minute. Oop, I don't want the cord to actually get caught up there. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, we're good now. So here it is. Actually, the charge light has gone back on, but never mind that. So it's a 40 watt panel. It's pretty good, pretty cool. I think they could have used the space better. As you can see, it has pretty big um, bezels on the top and bottom. And um, it's all, they're also white, so it like reflects a lot of light sometimes. So if you look at, at the solar panel, it kind of blinds you. But other than that, it's 40 watts, it's pretty good. It came with the four uh, corner pieces. I don't know if that was just for shipping or not, but I've kept them on. And it's actually saved it from a couple of dents and stuff. Um, yeah, like it's pretty good. I have it set up here. This is actually the first day I'm trying this out before I had it in the backyard. But the problem, the issue with that is, is that I have to like take that out at night every day and and like I have to go all the way there to the backyard to put the battery into the charge charging and it's really heavy actually. But now in this setup, I can just have the uh, solar panel stationary and I can charge simultaneously. So yeah, it's, it's on the window. Sometimes when we open the front door, it actually causes the so solar panel to rattle a bit. And I hope that does not um, have any negative effects as in the solar panel falling on the ground. Um, if, if I ever, if that ever happens, hopefully not, or if I see it like uh, sliding a bit, I'll definitely like try to get some, I don't know, like tape or whatever to mount it, um, you know, sturdily. But for now, that's what I got. So yeah, it, it does have the, like the, I don't know what they called it. I think they called it ergonomic stand, but uh, it's, so yeah, it's like aluminum or whatever. It's really good actually, cause you can get, like you can, if you want it flat, flat, or if you want it obviously to get perpendicular to the rays from the sun for our maximum power input, then you can kind of manipulate the stand to your liking. And uh, yeah, so I'll just go over some things again. I mean, just go la over some things before I end the video. So yeah, it has the battery and the solar panel input. This kit actually also came with a uh, eight foot extension cord and some like a LED test light. So it was actually a pretty, pretty uh, well put together piece of kit, like like a box, like good for beginner solar panel users. And um, actually before I end off the video, I'm gonna tell you guys like what, how we're actually using this setup. So as you can see here, I have two Ma uh, Apple like laptops and like this, this charger is 45 watts and this one is 60 watts, correct? Um, so that's 105 um, watts output from this device and it was, Doing that okay, it was at actually midday. That was my fault though. I had the power inverter in the direct sunlight. That's why you guys saw at the beginning of the video, I had the blinds actually down and the solar panel in front of the blinds because I had the inverter in front and it, it was just so hot, it could not charge laptops, even though that's a fifth of its rated maximum output. Um, but once, once it got cooled down, it actually worked quite nice. Um, and yeah, so I can have like, so far I've had, I other than that, where it was my fault and overheated, um, I was able to get everything charging just fine. Um, just again, it's a 500 watt power inverter. I actually quite like it. Um, also, 
you know, it has like the red, the positive and negative terminals where you add it. And you can also put, put this in just to the car. Like, I don't know what you guys call this. Just a 120, 120 volt car DC uh, plug. You guys know what I'm talking about, like the cigarette thing. You can plug that in too. So it has two different settings, but then obviously the wattage is cut down to 120. So you're uh, more limited. But yeah, it's been able to charge every, all my devices um, and get me that nice power savings. You know, it feels good when you're charging this stuff and you know it's not gonna come on the power bill. And um, yeah, so lastly, let's just have a look at the solar panel, ch uh, charge controller, battery, and finally the power uh, inverter. And uh, yeah, I'll see, I might make an update video or something if like I end up modifying the setup a bit. But yeah, for now, that's pretty much it guys. So if you have any questions about the setup or like if you want, I can like try to find the link to if you can still buy this one or like a new version of this, please put them down in the comments. And uh, without further ado, have a good rest of your day and see you.